Today I'm gonna go through my conservative arc, which means that I watch Ben Shapiro and that I hate women, and therefore I hate the Barbie movie. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting really tired of every movie that comes out becoming a weird political debate. This month we had Oppenheimer and Sounds of Freedom, but for some reason Barbie is the one that gets the most discussion, and it's even more annoying because this all could have been so easily avoided. This movie already has a plot about Barbie having to save this little girl from depression. She goes out into the real world with Ken to save somebody. But for some reason, the movie suddenly decides that the main villain of the movie should be Ken and the patriarchy. But as everybody has pointed out, this does not fit into the story because Ken is never evil. He feels more like the hero of his own story. I mean, think about it. We see in the beginning that all of the Kens are treated like secondhand citizens in a world ruled by Barbies. It's a pretty miserable existence and he's visibly very unhappy about it. But the Barbies couldn't care less. Like, I know Barbie doesn't have to go out on a date with him if she doesn't want to, but damn man, this guy just wants you to see him as a normal person that exists can you not even show the slightest bit of empathy barbie is really awful to him but for some reason we're supposed to be on her side it's no wonder that when ken goes to the real world that he likes that people are treating him like a normal person but the movie wants you to believe that this is wrong that this way of life is incorrect and that ken shouldn't be enjoying this and it's really weird because when ken goes back to barbie land he changes it overnight somehow to suddenly be the Ken world, where it's the same as Barbie Land, except the Kens are the ones that are in charge, and that makes him the bad guy for some reason? See, I can accept the concept of Barbie Land as something that makes sense in this world. A world ruled by Barbies, where the Kens are just second class citizens, is fine as long as you don't acknowledge how absurd that is. Because at the end of the day, that is what Barbie is. They are respecting the source material. But when you suddenly make the movie about Ken being the bad guy for wanting to change the status quo, it becomes impossible to follow with because Ken is by all accounts a victim in this story and when he tries to fight against the system, suddenly he's portrayed as the villain. All that the Kens want is to live their own life. It's also even weirder because the world that Ken makes isn't really a bad one. Everybody seems to be pretty happy living their lives there, even the Barbies. But no no no, they're brainwashed. They don't want to live like this, they need to be told that they're not happy in order to be freed from their curse. Isn't that the same as what the Kens were before? I didn't see anybody trying to free them from their curse. That's messed up. Also, side note, why are there fat Barbies in this movie? Fat Barbies don't exist in the real world, so they just made that up for this movie. Being fat isn't something you should try to aspire to be. But anyways, we can't talk about that anymore. We gotta stop Ken from being happy. He's being too happy and taking over the world, and now he's gonna have his place in the government. We can't have that. So what are the good guys gonna do to stop him? We'll get this their plan is to emotionally manipulate all of them only to lead them on in order to turn them against each other that's kind of evil that's some psychopath behavior why are these the good guys again but okay you know what i can side with this partially right because at the end of the day they can learn that both extremes of government are bad this could be a good time to learn an important lesson about compromise and maybe ken's efforts wouldn't have been for nothing so when the kens ask the president for a seat in the supreme court she can have the empathy to not give them anything and make them go back to being whatever they were what the hell why did they do this why not give the kens the freedom that they need don't they deserve rights as well there's supposed to be some weird underlying theme about how the kens are being given the freedom to choose to be what they want. You know, as long as it's not to be a part of the government or any influence in Barbie land. A place that, by the way, they also live in. So why not just let them be a part of it? This is where the movie completely loses me because I just can't get behind this. How could anybody possibly get behind this ending? Ken has been by far the most likable character in the entire movie. And the conclusion is that whatever he wants is wrong and that he should be ashamed of wanting it. And I know people are gonna say, like oh well barbie apologized to ken at the end 
For those of you who say that, you do not know how apologies work. You don't get to apologize right after you ruined their lives. Imagine if the British Museum just apologized for everything they stole without giving it back. Would that make it okay all of a sudden? This apology is so superficial and lifeless and it's so clearly just slapped on at the end of the movie to make you think of Barbie as a more likable character. But it's not really an apology. It feels more like Barbie is telling Ken that he should have known better. That's messed up. It's lacking empathy on any level. And that's kind of the problem with this entire villain dynamic. There is no empathy between the heroes and the villain, which is really weird because at the end of the day, they both want the same thing. There's this monologue that America Ferreira gives at the end of the movie that goes on for like a minute where she goes to explain about all of the anxieties that women have and how the world places these unfair and unattainable expectations on them. But the problem is, that she acts like these are just problems that women face, as if men don't suffer from anxiety or any expectations from the world. Again, it just lacks empathy, and it is strictly unfair, and most people recognize that. That's why they don't like this part of the movie. Because at the end of the day, Ken and Barbie both want the same thing, and they go about getting it the same way. But for some reason, Barbie is treated as the hero, and Ken is treated like the villain. It's so uncanny to hear people defending this movie. Movie because I don't understand how people can side with the way that the Kens are portrayed. Because a lot of people like to hide behind the satire card and say that it's all supposed to be absurd and you're not supposed to take it seriously. But I really don't think so. Was America Ferreira's monologue something you're not supposed to take seriously? Was the scene where Barbie talks to Barbie God something you're not supposed to take seriously? I know that this Shafrilla's video said that this was supposed to be some commentary about how children can fall into the alt-right pipeline or whatever but that would imply that what Ken was doing was wrong and he wasn't really doing anything wrong. I mean, sure, kicking Barbie out of her own house isn't very nice, but what was he supposed to do? He was given nothing. He literally had nowhere to live. Did the Kens just have to sleep in a pile somewhere? I don't know. I don't really trust Schaeferlis' takes when it comes to politics. And that's kind of what annoys me the most about this problem, because I never like bringing politics into discussions about movies. I mean, I'm fine with arguing about the themes and messages that it can have, but determining somebody's political standpoint just on what kind of movies they like is so immature and ridiculous. But when the movie has one of the characters say that the men must suffer like women did in the past, can you really be surprised if people don't really like this movie? That's messed up! As for me though, I don't really care that this movie hates men, I just don't like badly written villains. And I know enough about villains to say that Ken's treatment in this movie is absolutely not justified. And I'm tired of people pretending like it is. That's all I got for this video, goodbye! Bye.